back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministries international videos, guys. This is my third time trying to record this video, so now I know for sure this video is gonna help somebody. I just had to stop and make sure it was recording because I just did a video with no camera. <laughs> Jesus, Heavenly Father, I thank you for another day. I thank you for your word. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your grace and your mercies. Thank you for your love and your faithfulness. Your spirit of joy, peace, and happiness and hope. Thank you for helping me stay strong. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So guys, I was walking, this is not what, okay, I'm just going by what the Holy Spirit said. I was walking out of the store yesterday, and um, this elder man came, he <laughs> was looking for his car. <laughs> Praise the Lord, he was looking for his car, so he was looking at the back of um, a license plate of the car that was in front of us, right? And it says, strong. It says strong on there. And so I knew the Lord was saying, be strong. Whatever you're going through, be strong. Know that when you are weak, you are strong in the name of the Lord God, Jesus. You are strong. You are strong. You are strong. Hallelujah. The next part of this video, hallelujah, your husband will spoil you. I mean, he's gonna, oh my gosh, he's gonna show you love in a way you've never saw it before. Your husband is gonna spoil you, okay? How to know you've you found the right man or you're with the right man. Your husband is gonna, is gonna hallelujah, he's gonna spoil you. Um, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing, but he obtains favor from the Lord God, Jesus, right? And so, he's going to be, he's going to try to make sure he's doing everything he can. Happy wife, happy husband, happy life. Like, because when you're happy and when you're enjoying the marriage, you're going to push up more prayers for this man. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for my husband. Thank you, Lord God. Oh, yes, Lord. I pray we are fulfilling our kingdom assignment every day, Lord. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the joy. Thank you that we have a God. Like, you're going to want to bless him. And so, that's how God showers down the favor upon the man. Because of the wife's prayers. Praise the Lord. Because of the wife's prayers. The Lord was showing me this on this past Sunday. I was watching Dr. Lovey. And as he was speaking, the Holy Spirit was just like, your husband is going to spoil you. And so last night, I was watching Dr. Lovey again, right? And so he said it. He said it. He said it with the couple. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. Look at the Holy Spirit. I always wait for a confirmation before I do a video on a word. And it's just because I want to make sure. Hallelujah. I'm supposed to put these videos out. But yes. Your husband is supposed to spoil you. So if you are being abused, mistreated, used. Like your husband is not going to come and make you pay for everything every time y'all go out. Heck, if he a real man, he got it. Like, I'm so serious. He, <laughs> when God loves his men, God blesses his men wealthily. So, like, you're not going to have to worry about none of that. Now, if you want to show your love and appreciation here and there, definitely do that. But you're, you're not going to have to do that. You can do that. You should do that from time to time as a woman just to show your man you love him. But... It's not a requirement or an obligation to be with a man. A woman, the man is supposed to provide for the house, okay? And if a man is not ready to do that, he's not ready, hallelujah, for marriage. The Holy Spirit is taking me somewhere. <laughs> Praise the Lord. 
so if you are still living with your parents praise the lord god jesus and you don't have a specific prophecy like you're just like it's not in God's will for you to still be there. You're just there. You are not ready for marriage. You are not ready for marriage. Okay. You are not ready for marriage. I'm sorry. This man watching me. And I'm trying to record a video. It's my cousin. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on the video. So I don't be distracted. <laughs> so. Anyway. If you are staying in your parents household voluntarily thank you Holy Spirit like you're not making no plans to move out you are not ready for marriage because see when God blessed Abraham Abraham had to leave the land and the territory he was raised in he had to go to a whole new hallelujah piece of land promised land that god was sending him to in order to receive the blessings he had to leave lot praise the holy spirit he had to leave lot and so you have to leave your family to join with the family and the blessings that the lord has for you okay if you guys are coming in welcome um the uh, the, the phone that I'm recording on I can't see you guys but the Holy Spirit says welcome as you come in so praise God <laughs> praise the Lord thank you for your wisdom knowledge and understanding and revelation thank you Holy Spirit and that's it for that part the next thing is I was um the holy spirit kept showing me barack obama and michelle obama right if you don't know those are our former president man's the best presidents we had in presidential history oh i'm telling you holy spirit that was the those was the best presidents we had in presidential history nobody was losing a win and it was just peaceful <laughs> as much as possible the republicans didn't like it but who cares God is a God of love and peace. He ain't no separation. I ain't no red and blue. It's the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, if you don't know, Michelle Obama and Barack Obama were actually lawyers or attorneys. And they worked for the same firm. In some kind of way, they ended up getting a date with each other. And, um... Barack Obama was a chain smoker. He smoked nic nicotine cigarettes. Like, and he smoked smoke. He wasn't just smoking one or two. Like, no, he was putting one out, lighting up another one. <laughs> but on the very first date that they had together, he stopped smoking. On the very first date that he had with Michelle Obama, it made him stop smoking permanently he never went back what kind of bird that was he never went back so that's for somebody I did a short early, earlier but it wouldn't upload it wouldn't upload listen to your children this is the last part listen to your children if you are um, in the Holy Spirit, you're a teacher, you're a prophet, you're an evangelist, you have a calling on your life. Excuse me. Sorry. Listen to your children. Use spiritual discernment to see when they are being attacked by the devil and when it's just them misbehaving. But listen to your children because. The Holy Spirit is speaking for them and to them. Okay? Praise God. I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I pray y'all have a blessed day. Okay? 
I pray, I, de I declare the decree, the blood of the Lord thy God Jesus upon you. May prosperity and peace be your portion in this day. Hallelujah. May you serve God, fulfill your kingdom assignment today and your calling. May you be at the right place at the right time. Hallelujah. May you continue to honor God and give him all the glory. In the mighty name of the Lord God Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May your husband or your wife manifest. That is Shaba Daddy. <laughs> Praise God. Now, that the, the phone call that you've been waiting for, your husband or wife is getting ready to call or text you. So, be prepared. Stay ready. Okay, ask the Holy Spirit to speak for you. That's what I do. I, I pray. I try to pray. Um, and this is for everybody that I have relations with. Whether it's a brother and sister in Christ, um, a stranger um family members for my husband to be like i, I want to say the right thing so you want to pray lord i pray i say what i'm supposed to say when i'm supposed to say it how i'm supposed to say it in the name of jesus that prayer has saved my life and the holy spirit gave me that prayer by himself the lord god so i pray y'all have a blessed day shalom